In this video, we are going to design internal retaining ring in SOLIDWORKS. So first of all, verify the units. Go here, IPS, and make sure the inches, pounds, second units are selected. Then we have to open the sketch. Click on it, and it asking which plane you want to make the sketch. We are going to select the front plane. So here, for the technique, we can uh, we can do it by two ways. Either we can draw two complete circles and make the complete sketch so this is the first circle and then the second circle don't make it uh, coincident with this origin just make move your mouse here like that and draw an other circle like that and then deselect select the circle command so in one method we can make these two complete circle and make the complete sketch and in the other way another method we can select the center line and draw a center line like that just auto track this point so this center line must be coincident with this origin like that okay here we are going to define the dimension so this bigger circle like that this bigger circle we have the dimension of uh, 0 0.590 okay and this smaller circle we have the dimension of 0 0.520 like that okay and we have to define the distance between these two points of these circles the center point so select this origin and select the center point of this circle and define the dimension so it's 0 0.013 like that so we have this sketch and for this sketch make sure this this point is coincident on this line so if it's not uh, you have to add the relation and between this uh, center point of this circle and on this center line so they must be coincident or you can also define select this point this point and add a relation horizontal uh, sorry vertical relation between these two lines like that okay so now we define this center line basically what i want i want to draw this half portion of this sketch and then mirror it so go to trim and trim this area like that okay now go to line tool and draw a line like that a horizontal line so make sure this line is horizontal having the horizontal relation if it's not you can go ahead and add this relation okay next define the dimension of this line so select this line and select this origin and define this dimension so this dimension is uh, 0 0.120 like that and then select this line tool and draw a random line like that it's not horizontal not vertical a line at some angle then define the dimension between uh, for this line the angular dimension so select this line and this center line and add a angle between them so total angle is 60 as we are drawing the half sketch so just type 30 okay like that and now we needed to trim some areas okay go to trim and trim this line this portion this portion and this portion this portion and this portion and we can also trim this portion this portion and this portion like that so we will have sketch like that so this blue line it's not fully defined here but when we are going to put the dimensions and the remaining geometry and we will make it fully defined so select this uh, fillet tool sketch fillet and here we are going to define the radius of this fillet so it's given 0.03 and click here on this box and select this point and this point and click check mark okay next we have to select the fillet tool again and type 0.02 and select this point and press check mark so it will also uh, define the dimension for this fillet okay next just see which dimension are remaining okay next select the smart dimension tool and first select this center line and then press shift on your keyboard and press the shift on your keyboard then go here on this circle and when you see a dimension like that click it and drag it here and for this dimension it's given 0.175 and as we are taking half dimension divide it by 2 like that now you can see this whole sketch is fully defined so this is the technique and just try to follow it step by step if you miss a step then rewatch it and do it again 
okay now our sketch is complete we just use the mirror tool and we have to select all of these lines arcs so this whole sketch is selected in this intentis to mirror and then mirror about and select this box and select this line and it will mirror it next we have to define a circle so select circle tool define a circle here and define a circle here and then go go here smart dimension select the origin of this circle and this region and here we have 0 0.170 like that and define the diameter of this circle so its diameter is given 0 0.047 okay and the distance between these two centers select this and this and define here so this dimension we have 0.285 and now just add some constraint so press control on your keyboard select this circle and this circle and add a equal relation between them then again press control on keyboard select this center point and this center point and add a relation horizontal between them okay okay now we have to add another relation so select smart dimension tool select this region and this uh, line and it has the dimension of 0.285 divided by 2 so it will make us in the center like that so exit this sketch and now go to feature and simply extrude this sketch the depth is 0 0.035 so now the internal retaining ring design is complete thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel